They fucking weird lockdown. I don't know. My head fell off at the start of lockdown. I done DMT about three weeks before lockdown began, right? And I don't know if anyone's done DMT, but it's a very transformative experience. It's like psychedelic, right? And I saw, I, I saw like fucking, I saw Buddha and Nana. I had, I had a fucking amazing time, right? But then lockdown happened, and it was fucking mad, wasn't it? Like with the start, you're I mean, like, this can't be real, this shit. Do you know what I mean? You can't go out the house and then you can't get into Tesco's and shit like that. And I'll be honest with you, I part of me thought, did I come out of that DMT trip? <laughs> Am I still tripping here? Because none of this seems like it should happen. And everyone's just going, yeah, yeah, sound, I'll stay in. And I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> my, my old tour got cancelled and then I'm like, oh, no. And then I'm flapping because it's like, have you, I, you know what, the piss, because I'd met a new bird, right? And it was going, it, well, it still is going, boss. It's fucking, we got engaged with the week. It's going, going sound and that. But at that time, I was like, I felt that I was, I was in a good place. I was feeling happy. I was meditating and shit like that. And I, I went, I panicked then because I was looking at, looking at my life and I'm feeling dead happy. And then all that happened, I was thinking, fuck, this is it. This is the end of the world, isn't it? Because <laughs> have, have you ever seen a zombie apocalypse film? Every single, every, I'm fucking spitting this food out here. <laughs> every single one of them. Starts with fucking every single one of them films starts with like someone like there's a family and everyone's dead fucking happy. You got Brad Pitt or someone just like ah oh, and his kids are all fucking lovely. It's in soft focus and everyone's dead happy. You think ah oh, this is gonna go tits up in a minute. <laughs> and that's how I felt and I was thinking I fucking knew I shouldn't have been that happy. <laughs> I've made the fucking world end now, haven't I? Because that's how important I think I am. Oh, what happened then? That sounded like a head. That sounded like loads. Is that oh, were they full as well? Oh, you're shit, you. <laughs> So I'm sat in my house. You know what panicked me as well? The, the lad who runs this comedy club is probably like the, one of the cleverest people I know in the world, right? He's, he's a fucking genius, right? He's one of the most sensible, level-headed people I know, right? So like he doesn't panic. He's very like calm in like stressful situations. You have to be to run a business like this. I could never do it, right? But I was talking to him about a week into lockdown. And he's like, mate, fucking, I, I, I bought like loads. He, you know them big fucking massive barrel planters? He bought 16 of them and started growing spuds in his garden. <laughs> And I'm looking at him going, whoa, if he's doing that, he started buying fucking oil and shit in the stock market. And I'm like, oh my God, what, what should I be doing? Should I be buying oil? I don't know what to do here. And I don't know, I'm shit at gardening. I, I, I've got fucking, I've got plastic grass in my garden. I can't start growing spuds in there. And I'm like, I can't even grow spuds. And I couldn't even, and then I went online. I'm trying to, I'm, 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 I've wear sold out of plants. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking starve. <laughs> I'm going to fucking starve. This is just fucking so bad. And then I thought, you know what? I, I, like it's gonna go off. Everyone, no one will have thought about it because he's clever. He's seen that he's seen the edge. You know what I mean? He's gonna have fucking loads of spuds, and no one's gonna have spuds. You know what I mean? And the world's gonna go off. And if you haven't had the spud for three days, Peter, what are you gonna do? You're gonna start fucking knocking people out, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm like, it's gonna go off. Everyone's gonna start. Everyone's fucking, everyone thinks I'm minted. They're gonna start coming through my door and that. I'm fucking flapping here now. So I start. I, 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 I tried to buy a sword online. <laughs> I'm shopping swords. You can buy. Do you know how easy it is to buy a sword? It's fucking easy to buy a sword. You would think it's difficult. It's not. You can buy a sword for like 200 quid, Blade UK, I had loads of them in my basket. I'm fucking sitting there in the middle of the night on YouTube watching fucking videos on what, what's the best sword for self-defense. Should I buy a katana or a viking one? At one point I was thinking I'll have a viking one in this hand and an axe in this one. For blocking, do you know what I mean? Because I've been watching vikings and I'm like... Hua, 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 hua. And then I was like, fucking, I, I, I had like six of them in the basket and then I'm like, all right, I'm not doing it. I'll, I'll have, I'll have a, I, feel, I feel like I'm overreacting a little bit. I'll have a little calm down. And then I went to sleep and I, you know when you have one of them fucking horrible, mad fucking cheese nightmares? Like, they're dead looser than that. And you wake up like, and you feel like, fuck, oh, and you, and you, you don't know where you are for a minute. And I had one of them, right? But what happened was, in the fucking nightmare, so, like there was fucking motorbikes coming up on all, all down the street and there was all fucking scallies everywhere, all Ketwigs all over the place, right? <laughs> the, the world had been took over by Ketwigs, right? And he started like volleying me front door and I'm thinking, fuck. So I had my sword, right? In the dream, I was like, I'd bought the sword and I had a big fucking katana and it was cool as fuck, like Kill Bill, right? And I was like... <laughs> And I thought, who's this knobhead coming through my fucking door, yeah? And I run, and I was in my hall like that, and he come through the door and I went, yeah! I went, fuck off! And I just caught the sword on the ceiling. Because <laughs> it's a fucking four-foot sword, like a dickhead, right? In a fucking house, right? I hit the ceiling with it, he tackled me and stabbed me with my own sword. <laughs> So I didn't buy a sword. 